What's up my fellow LTD addicts, let's talk about Modula. Modula is a WordPress plugin that helps you create beautiful image galleries for your website. There's currently a lifetime deal running at AppSumo, and in this video, I'm gonna dive deep into the plugin and help you decide whether this deal is right for your business. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, I'm Dave from that LTD.life where I review software tools with lifetime offers. If you're new around here, make sure you hit the subscription button and click that notification bell so you get notified when new reviews are posted. If you wanna follow along with what I'm doing today, you can click the link in the description. That is our affiliate link, which means if this review is helpful to you and you go on to make a purchase, it kicks us back a little bit of money here at the channel. However, that never influences the results of our review. So today we're gonna to get right into Modula. Here is the deal page over at AppSumo, and you can see that this is $39, and let's just hop right down to the codes. This is where I like to start. Uh, basically, there are two options here. You can buy one code for $39 bucks or two codes for $78. The main difference is you're going to get five sites uh, for one code and unlimited sites for two codes. So this is self-filtering. If you're uh, an entrepreneur just creating a business for yourself, maybe one code is enough for you. If you are an agency or you work with clients, then you might want to think about unlimited codes. Now, I should say that Modula has a free version. So here is Modula in the WordPress repository. You can see uh, it's just been updated recently here. There's 50,000 active installations and the reviews are by and large very positive. You can see there's 95 five-star reviews. So maybe the first place to start is to decide whether the free version is enough for you. So of course, you have to have a WordPress website to use this deal. You also have to be interested in image galleries. So if you don't have a current solution for image galleries, or maybe you're using another plugin and you're not happy with the features, then you might want to consider this. I think this is kind of a self-filtering deal. The more you learn about this, it's going to become less and less interesting to a lot of people. But those people who this deal is right for, it's going to be a really great deal. So uh, here's basically what you're getting in the free version is you can create uh, an image gallery with less than 20 images or excuse me, 20 images or less. So you can see the, the premium version lets you do 20 or more. Uh, then you're also going to be able to include two major features here, which is uh, video inside your galleries. Again, this is for the pro version only. And you can also let people sort through your images uh, with the pro version using some filter effects. There are also additional uh, styles, ways that the galleries are presented. So if appearance is very important to you, you'll get the most flexibility and the most customization uh, with that pro license. But hey, if you're on the edge at all, just you know, download the free version, play around with it and see what you think. But hopefully I can answer all of your questions here today. I've already got a Modula demo website set up. Let me get you acquainted with what you're looking at here. So this is the back end of WordPress, of course, and I've got the free Astra theme enabled. And the only plugins I'm using are the Modula plugins. So this is the main Modula plugin and it's required to use any of the advanced features. This is the free plugin that comes in the WordPress, WordPress repository. So if you want to go ahead and set that up right now, you can do that at no cost. Then there are four additional kind of premium plugins that add the bulk of the functionality that is needed to get those pro features. So we've got a, an advanced shortcuts plugin. There's the main pro plugin the Modula speed up and the Modula video. Now I can see just from the version numbers here that the Modula video, Modula speed up and advanced shortcuts, these are all on version 1.0, whereas the other two plugins are on version two. Uh, and, and have some actual iterations done to them. So this definitely gives me a little bit of a red alert. So I can see that these three plugins are probably brand new. Uh, they more than likely have more vulnerabilities in them because they're new, they haven't been tested as much. Uh, and just having five plugins to get one functionality seems like a lot to me, you know, to have just image galleries and then need to have five plugins running on my website. It does give me a little bit of hesitation, but let's dig into it and see how things go. So here it adds uh, the Modula section over here on my sidebar. I can click on that and see I have no galleries installed. Now we do want to mention, uh, before I go too much further, this Modula speed up feature might be the sleeper killer feature of the entire deal here. Uh, and once I explain it to you, it, it could be something that makes this entire deal for you. So let's go ahead and dig into it and I'll, I'll show you what that is. So to create a new gallery, I'm just gonna hit add new and I can go ahead and begin the process here. So I'm just going to uh, add in some of the uh, thumbnails that I use on YouTube. 
What's really interesting to me is that it doesn't take me to the standard uh, uploader for the media library. So these are not gonna be going into my media library. I can tell that already. I will select them all and hit upload here and I've got seven, seven images uploading. Okay, so those images are all uploaded here. I've got the short code that it provides me with. Um, and let's go ahead and just see what this looks like right out of the box without any customization. Now, because it's a short code, of course, I need to publish that on a page or a post. So I'll go ahead and create a new page here and I'll just go ahead and add that short code in and I'll call this uh, gallery test. All right, so this is what it looks like using the Astro theme with the default settings, just uploading a bunch of images and uh, here's how it kind of formats it. Nice and artistic. I've got the social share buttons on here and if I click on the images, uh, it does render inside of a light box here and there's a little close icon that is nice and I can uh, you know, scroll between the different thumbnails. All right, so fairly uh, you know standard features uh, about what you'd expect. You know, I think that it looks decent. Like if I was in a hurry and I didn't really care about the aesthetics, this is usable. It's totally totally okay. Nothing that like blows me away in terms of amazing features, but uh, it definitely works. Now let's see what happens if we refine this a little bit and uh, play with some of the settings. So here I'm inside of the general settings for Modula, looking at that gallery that we just created. Now there is one kind of killer feature here inside of Modula is that I can choose the custom grid. And once I do that, now when I go back to my images, you can see there's these little boxes, these little helper uh, images, where I can actually grab images and uh, you know drag them around if I wanted them to uh, appear a little bit differently. You know, so I, maybe I wanted to feature this thumbnail. You know, these are these are hard because these are 16 by 9 images, so uh, they're going to take up a lot of space. But you can see as I expand that, the grid is actually getting bigger, so that I could customize this and have things look exactly like I wanted. Okay, so it was very easy to drag that edge around and get some really interesting looking results here from this grid. However, the photos that I'm using just aren't that artistic, right? They're meant to stand out on YouTube and get people to notice my images and click on them. However, uh, it still works and I can see how if I had more interesting photos, it'd be kind of fun to play with and I think I could get some really beautiful looking results. Now let's look at some of the other settings here. We have gutter, which is essentially margin, right? So right now it's set to 10. If I decrease that, you can see now there's no gap between the images and if I increase it substantially now I can have a lot of uh, gutter between those images so I think I'll bring that back down to about 10 where it started there's also a thumbnail size so I can uh, make the thumbnails larger uh, this would be the minimum height or uh, width of the thumbnails in pixels so maybe leaving that at 500 is probably a good place to begin and then I can also change the light box uh, or links so if I wanted to, to say link to the direct file to download I could do that or I could have these different effects for uh, the light box and we'll take a look at what some of these look like in a moment and then I can disable the light box navigation uh, on uh, desktop or on mobile. All right, so that's it for the general settings. Now, all of these features would be available to you in the free version. However, you're limited to only 20 photos and you will not have all of these light box options in the free version. I believe you only just have a standard light box. So the next thing I wanna do, rather than continuing all, all the way through all these uh, settings, which we'll definitely look at them, I wanna see how to add a video here. So I'm gonna hop over to my YouTube page and pull up the URLs. So here is how this works. If I want to add a video to any of my images, now this is a pro feature, you have to have the pro version to do this. You click the little pencil icon and if you have the video plugin enabled, you can add a video URL here. So what I'm gonna do is go find this Audio Hero video over on YouTube. Here it is, I'm gonna copy the link to this. Fellow LTV addicts, let's talk about Audio Hero. Audio Hero is a I'll just paste it in here and you can see that it says insert a video URL. Uh, it can be YouTube, Vimeo or self-hosted. I'll go ahead and save that. So now I've reloaded the gallery test page here and you can see that the Audio Hero uh, image has this play icon over it. Now it is white, I can change that. I'll show you how to in a second. But if I click on it, it should pop open the YouTube video. However, I'm getting a little bit of a scrolling wheel here. So let me see if I can figure out why that's happening. 
Well, it only took me a second to go through the modular docs and find that the light box style is not compatible with the video extension. So that's why the video wasn't loading. Let's go ahead and try a different style for the gallery here and see if we can fix things up a bit. All right, I've changed it to the pretty photo. I'll go ahead and hit update here and let's go back to my gallery and I'm going to uh, hard refresh this here and here's the gallery and I'll hit preview and there we go. The video pops up right away as expected. And you can see I can still scroll to the next image in the gallery. So that's really nice. I can have a mix of both videos and photos here. No problems there. So uh, now the next thing that bothers me is well, the social icons are white and they're really hard to see over the hover and that play button is also white. So let's look at how we would change that. I'm going to go over to the video settings down here and I can see that the play icon color is currently set to white. Let's go ahead and change it to red, make it stand out a little bit, uh, hit update and let's go back to our test page. So now I can see that the play icon is red. It's a lot easier to see, although it's still a little sliver of an image here. Now that's partly due to the way I have this page configured with my theme. It's meant to be very narrow for reading something like a blog. Uh, so, you know, maybe I wouldn't want to have this many images in a theme like this, or I could also change the theme a little bit. In fact, let me just do that on this page here. I've got the uh, Astra settings up over here and let's just go ahead, have no sidebar and we'll do uh, full width content. We'll hit update here. And let's refresh this. All right, that looks uh, much better. So we can see that that play icon is there and the image still loads just fine. Let's look at filters. This is a pretty cool feature. So this enables me to filter out uh, the images based on the content of the image. So maybe here I would do something like um, video tools and add a new filter. And I could say, um, you know, web development tools. Oops. And we'll go ahead and hit save on that, hit update. Now what I could do is look under, let's say this Tubix is a video tool. I'll, I'll hit the edit here and under the filters, I'm gonna call this one a video tool. I'll hit save. And let me just go through and I'll quickly tag these appropriately. You're taking the Okay, so I've tagged the videos that are either web development tools or video tools, and let's go ahead and see what the gallery looks like now. So I'll refresh. All right, so here are the filtering tools. Uh, you can see that I have a all images category. I've got a video tools category and a web development category. So if I select one of these, I can see just the images that are tagged appropriate to those categories. Now, the obvious thing here is the styling is not very nice. It's not very beautiful. And for some reason, there's no space provided between each of the categories. So hopefully this is easy to change. Let me find out if I can do so. All right, so I found a solution here and it is exactly what Modulus suggests to do. However, I don't think it's a very elegant solution. So I found this document in their uh, support section and it just shows you how to add padding to filters created uh, with Modula. And I just copy and pasted these two lines of CSS into my customizer. And sure enough, now the page loads with some space between the categories. However, it's not very nice looking, right? We have this underline that kind of connects to the previous category because the, the hover is not part of that spacing. So in my opinion, this is just not a very elegant solution. You know, just thinking about who this plugin is for, it's not for technical people, it's for photographers that are trying to get their images online or artists that wanna get their images online. So I would like to see this feature improved. I am taking into consideration that this is a early version of, of this feature. So hopefully, you know, it's something they can turn around pretty quickly and get this looking. That doesn't have to be amazing, but some basic styling features inside of the settings would be really nice to see. All right, so let's jump into uh, the next section here. We have looked at the general section, we've looked at the filters. Let's go ahead and look at the next section here, which is captions. Now these are the styling settings for the captions of the images. Let's go ahead and add a uh, caption to, let's say this image here, and I will say a short pixel. Okay, so I just refreshed the gallery page and now I can see the title of the image is here. And if I uh, hover over the image, the caption shows up in this little box here. So we can change this styling if we go back to the settings here and under captions, the title color, let's say I wanna make that red as well. And the caption color, why don't we do that in black? 
and I can actually give it a default title and caption if I don't want to go into each image. So I could uh, style it with the image title or the image description. So that's interesting. If you upload the files to your main WordPress media library, you could set the captions there and have them pulled in through Modula. You can of course hide the title in the caption uh, if you'd like, and you can change the font size for the title and the caption. So uh, let's make this uh, be about 22 and we'll make the caption font size be a little bit bigger as well. And let's go ahead and update here and see what this looks like. So there you go, that's what that looks like with the red title and here is the caption down below. Here are the social sharing options. You can share on Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, or Pinterest, and you can toggle each one of these on or off at your discretion. I do find it interesting that for photography, Instagram is not included here. I think that would be something a lot of photographers would definitely want people to be able to do is share their photos on Instagram. Uh, there is also the ability to change those icons here. And again, just for the sake of continuity, I will hit red and we'll go ahead and uh, view what that looks like. You can see here's the, the white and I'll refresh and now it's in red. So that's if I click on one of these, I get the little uh, image to pop up that says, here's what you're sharing and tweet it out. Now let's talk about this speed up section. I teased in the beginning that I think this is one of the coolest features of the entire plugin. Now here's why. If you have Modula, you get unlimited access to ShortPixel. ShortPixel is another LTD currently running on AppSumo and I made a glowing review about it. It's one of the best deals on the internet. If you do any website work at all, I think you should have a ShortPixel account. However, if you use images in image galleries almost exclusively, Maybe you don't need one because you get unlimited short pixel access to both their image optimization and their CDN through Modula. That is a killer deal. So you get all of the same settings that you would get inside of short pixel here. You can turn on lazy load. You can choose between uh, turning off the compression. If you want to turn it off, you can. Uh, and you can also uh, change the type of compression on a thumbnail or light box uh, basis. So if you want them to display in thumbnails, more compressed and less compressed in the light box, you can certainly do that. And that might make sense if your thumbnails are very small. So this is a killer part of the deal. Super awesome. Uh, I don't really see it highlighted too clearly on AppSumo's page. It certainly wasn't in their video, uh, probably because they don't want people to not buy the short pixel deal because it's in here. That That's super great. So uh, very impressed to see this section inside of Modula. Let's look at the last few options here. We've got responsiveness where we can uh, change the responsiveness in terms of what it looks like on tablet and mobile. So how many columns show up on each one. That's essentially all you're looking at here. And the other customizations is just a spot to insert some custom CSS. So if I didn't want to add that CSS to my customizer to change the padding on the filters, I could have done it right here inside of Modula. Okay, so before we wrap up this video, we have to head over to the Modulo website where we're gonna take a look at the different special effects that they have for their image galleries. All right, let's start by looking at the image load effects. This is essentially what happens when the images load on the screen. So here is the Modulo website. If I go ahead and refresh here, you'll see that right now they are sliding in horizontally. I could have them rotate in. There we go. Let's reload this page and you can see them rotate in. We could do a scale. You can see that, let's reload it again. Here they're kind of scaling and then the vertical slide would be uh, similar to the horizontal, but obviously uh, from the side. So those are the load-in effects. You get all four of those with the premium plugin. All right, now let's look at the image hover effects. Now there's 12 of these that are included. This is essentially how the title or the description are going to show up on the images or even the social icons, how they just kind of appear here as I hover. Uh, we can go to this next one, which is Cantonelle. And you can see here, this one has a slightly different animation. Let's go to Komodo. Moves the image a little bit here. Nice effect, crafty. These are all fairly similar to my eye. I mean, I can definitely tell they're different, but um, personally, I wouldn't spend a lot of time trying to pick out the perfect one here, but they all have you know slightly different looks. So if you are uh, really into these, we may have already done this one here. Let's go to fluid. Hide. You can see that as I hover over it, uh, the social icon is kind of hiding as I go away and the caption hides as I go away. Lens. It's got like a, a bigger zoom here. This one is Puff Robo. 
Here is quiet. Reflex. More subtle there and SEMO. And they're all very similar to me. It's just kind of whether the uh, caption is displaying and how much the zoom effect is going on. Uh, and there's also kind of like this little overlay, uh, you know, to make it easier to read the words. So those are the 12 different hover effects. If you want to see what they look like inside of the plugin itself, uh, they're just right here. And you can basically just choose one of the 12 and then also have a hover color. Uh, so that as you hover, you know, what, what the background is and I can change the opacity here. So if I want it to be like just solid, I can do that as well. So we've covered the loading effects, which is how the images enter the screen. We've also covered the hover effect, which is what we just did. I think I missed this style section here, but this is basically related to having a border around your images. Uh, you can change the radius. So if you want them rounded, you can do so. You can add a color to the border and you can also add a little bit of shadow. So know those, those choices are there. Um, that is something it's pretty standard uh, kind of HTML, CSS. So hopefully you know what a border and a shadow looks like. I'm not gonna cover them too deep here in this video. But the last thing we do need to look, like, look at is these light box effects. So here there are six different ones that are included with the plugin. Let's head back to the, the Modulo website and look at these different light box effects. So here's the light box gallery. So here is the first one, they call this fancy box. And when we click on an image, we can see how it pops up, right? This is the style of the fancy box. Uh, let's go to the next one, the light gallery. A Little bit uh, darker background here, it slides between images. Let's go to the next one, which is just the standard light box. We've already seen that in the video. Here's an example, uh, by the way, of uh, a rounded radius. And there's actually a little bit of drop shadow on this as well. That's what we were just talking about. All right, so here is the standard light box. Uh, this has a little bit of a border around it. And there is also uh, some, some more information here compared to the fancy box and the light gallery that we just looked at. Here's the magnific pop-up. Really no animation here, just nice and clean. Uh, I like this one, that looks good. Here is the pretty photo. And there you go. This is probably a little bit more like the standard light box, although we do get previews of the other images. That's really cool here. I like that feature a lot. Uh, and of course I can use the arrow buttons over here or just hit play. Let's, oops, I clicked away here. I can just hit play and have it kind of go through uh, for me. I like that as well. So let's see how long it takes to load between pictures here probably like five or 10 seconds here. So here's the swipe box as the name implies. This is kind of meant for mobile so that I could kind of just swipe uh, from image to image. But of course, since I'm on desktop, I have to use the controls, but that's the idea here. All right, so these are all again, fairly similar, but there's enough variation that it can please you if you're very discerning with your aesthetic choices. And that's gonna do it for all the features here. So by now you should have a pretty good understanding of everything Modula can and can't do and whether it's right for your business. For me, I really like how fast and easy it is to upload a batch of images, get them optimized by short pixel without costing me any credits, and then just getting a simple short code I can paste into something like a blog post. This is something I could see my clients being able to do with just a little bit of training where I really wouldn't want to teach them how to use a full blown page builder or something like Elementor. So for that use case, I think it's perfect. If you're a web designer, you probably get bored with this, but if you're a photographer who just wants to get their images online, it might be the perfect tool for you. So because it's not a one size fits all solution, and there's also some minor styling issues like in the filtering section, that'll probably be fixed with an additional version. I'm gonna rate this one a 7.1. I think it's a respectable score, but it's certainly not to the level of something like Fleek or Short Pixel that we've seen in the past. So pick this one up if it suits your needs, Otherwise, don't feel bad about letting it go. If this review has been helpful to you and you are gonna go ahead and make a purchase at AppSumo, I'd really appreciate it if you click the link in the description. That is our affiliate link, which means it kicks us back a little bit of money here at the channel so we can continue to make these LTD reviews for you. If you like the video, make sure you click like so I know you appreciate the content. Leave me any comments or questions down below. If I miss something, I wanna know about it. I'll see you in the next review. Cause all I wanna be